team filed a gender discrimination lawsuit against U.S. soccer. What was your reaction to that? Because I know I was surprised by it. <laughs> there you go. I, I mean, I was excited um, because it's obvious we still have a ways to go. And so I, I thought that was so exciting that the team was so united and focused um, and had the resources to put that together and the courage. Like, get it, guys. Get it. Because mm -hmm. um, that's it's a long journey, and it's important for each generation to keep uh, chipping away, keep mm -hmm. opening doors. It's tiring because yeah. it's like yeah. another it's another thing they have to bring up to fight for. I mean, be proactive. I mean, it's 2019 now. I mean, there's little things of proactive it, meaning U.S. soccer. Yeah, like yeah. make or a FIFA point. or yes, instead of the players having to make a stand for something. It's always the players that have to yeah. rattle the cage, yeah. isn't it? Well, I think if you're the one who is, you know, incurring the, these situations, it's easy for you to to say like, hey, we need change. But for the people who it's not impacting, it's very easy for them to keep status quo because it doesn't impact them. Mm -hmm. So I was excited and proud that they were standing up. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of this same conversation. It's 2019. It, we shouldn't be having this. Let's, right. let's get it taken care of and let's move forward on to what, what should be the things we're ta we should be talking about, not, you know, yeah we need equality. I mean, it just, yeah. it, it just seems like it's a foregone conclusion. Mm -hmm. But I'm proud of them for sticking with the mm -hmm. fight. That's very important. Mm -hmm.